we are gathered here and united by God as a family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. The more we love God, the more we are available and willing to serve God. But the less we love God, the less also we are available and willing to serve God. As we start our Holy Eucharist, let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the patience of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I am uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out loud, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break. In a smoldering wick he shall not quench. Until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to his people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon and those who live in the darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my light, light and, and my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light and my, and my salvation. salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war he waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living, wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord, Lord is, is my light and, and my salvation. salvation. The verse before the gospel. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. He gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas, the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back, and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he rest he had raised from the dead, and the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Judas Iscariot fails to love Jesus. That's why he doesn't want to serve Jesus totally and willingly. He follows Jesus only in order to gain financial or material gains from Jesus. His focus is only self-interest. That's why whenever he finds an occasion to get his personal interest, he will do it. And the consequence is he fails to love and to serve Jesus. Unlike Mary. Mary is willing totally to give herself and to dedicate herself to Jesus in order to serve and to love Jesus. I think we should take the example of Mary, especially during this Holy Week, in order to be able to love and to serve God whenever and wherever he needs our help. May God bless each one of us. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. For the church throughout the world, may the grace of God continue to strengthen and nourish her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in authority, may God give them strength in their efforts to uphold the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For those who seek forgiveness, May God's mercy work in and through them and bring peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may the grace of the sacraments purify our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
For all who have died, may God welcome them into the eternal kingdom of love and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our hear prayer. Our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book that through God's everlasting love they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For Jim Mater, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayers and we offer all our prayers on the altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incur bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving patience and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one mind, the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and fault by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer its honor the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the Supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ be consecrated in our life.
Union Antiphon. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray. And with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Be to God. Have a fruitful Holy Week. Thank you. Oh, sacrament.